Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron, and we're still in Saradash. What's that? I wish all the Wallspawn were dead. Okay. Peasants. I will do my best. Well, if you wish me dead, I rob you blind. I hope Just this like is not times. a sign of things to come. Well, we must strive to maintain balance. Oh, there's another one here. The ball spawn have doomed us all. Oh, it's trapped. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and please. rangers everywhere. Someone help Rejoice! Me. Party's reputation has decreased. Oops. What's in here? <coughs> hey. Pick it. Ooh, yeah. Who are those? Militia soldiers. Oh, for two cold coins. For two cold coins. For two gold coins. No, that's not worth it. Um, let's leave it at that. So there is still militia in that place. Who would have it fought? shall be. Let's not go in here then. Let's go in here. Consider it done. And talk to the guy here. Hector. I think you have a spell book that does not belong to you. What says thou? I want to ask you some questions questions about a stolen spell book. I see where this is going. Well, Lazarus is barking up the wrong tree. I was at the tankard tree all night long and I have witnesses to prove it. I talked to Squip. He told me he stole the book and gave it to you. Okay, I admit I took the book, but I don't have it on me. If you kill me, Lazarus will never get it. I'm not a bad man, really. I just took the book because I thought I could use it to escape the city. But the damn thing is locked with some kind of spell. It's useless to me. Lazarus has a teleportation scroll to escape the city. I know it. If you get me that scroll, I'll give you the spell book. Do we have a deal? Hmm, very well. I will talk to Lazarus once more. Speak to Lazarus or don't, it's your choice. But until you have the scroll, we have nothing more to discuss. Oh, really? Fine, we try that. Pause. And return to that spot here. I will do my best. Quickly! Before the next firewall comes down. Okay, we are safe. Yes. Um Hector admitted to he stole your spell book. He will give it back in exchange for a teleportation scroll to escape the city. I knew that thief was to blame. But he's a fool if he thinks a teleportation scroll will help him escape the city. I do have such a scroll and I will gladly trade it for my spell book, but a scroll is useless. Yagashura's mages have cast powerful spells imprisoning us here. But that guy could teleport out. Hmm. Anyone foolish enough to attempt a magical escape will rebound off the inevitable walls, a grisly and very messy fate. Nevertheless, he has the scroll hacked wanted. Or did that guy die the teleport tried to teleport out? There was this lightning and the seventy something damage message. I suppose the choice is up to you, hey Bridget me. If you wish to warn Hector about the consequences of using the scroll, I wish you luck in recovering my spellbook. Hmm. Very well. Very well. And we're back. Done.
I really need a pair of boots of speed for Hayward. I have the scroll right here. You have the scroll? Quickly give it to me! Here, take the spell book. I can't use it anyway, but the scroll, the scroll is my ticket out of here. I should warn you, the scroll won't work. Lazarus said that if you use it, you'll die. You are lying. You must be. But why would you lie to me now that the exchange has been made? And why would Lazarus have not left the city if the scroll actually works? Perhaps, perhaps you are right. I must think hard on this before I use the scroll. Do that. So, <coughs> that's the spellbook. Lazarus spellbook. This heavily watered spellbook belongs to Lazarus Librarius. He would probably like to have it back, so I can't take a peek. <coughs> and back As you ask. There's a sign. Okay, no archives. Okay. Guess what? It shall be. Yes, here's your spellbook. My spellbook! Thank you, kind sir. Truly, the legends of Haywood I Blow Me have not been exaggerated. I am once again. I can once again craft my scrolls. Five thousand quest experience points. Please feel free to peruse my vast collection of enchanted parchments. And if you see anything you like, I'm sure we can work out a mutually beneficial exchange of coin for the said item. Okay, what do you have? Here's a lot, I give him that. I don't think that all of them have, for instance, this. I'm not even sure that Haywood has this. Teleport field. It's another one of those. I'm not sure whether they have that. Wizard's eye. I mean, we have lots of money. Contagion. I think we have that. Ah, let's buy it. There are lots of nice spells. I think we can get a few spells that we didn't have yet. What is that? Big B's clenched fist. That's new. Pierce shield. Mm hmm. Bigby's crushing hand. Okay, I'll tell you what I will do. I will pause the video here and buy all the spells I can get and I can use. 
and scribe them and then turn the video back on. You don't have to watch me do that. Boots of speed! Awesome! I want ring of fire resistance. I want that too. And a bag of holding. Do we need a second bag of holding? That can't hurt. I don't think we need a third scroll brace. What does that do here? Plus 10, plus 1 to intelligence when equipped. Do we need that? Oh, let's buy it. Okay. Of course we will buy all those. Wait, you still have... Oh, they're gone. Okay. Yeah, so I will pause the video here and turn it back on in a minute. So, see you soon. And I'm back. I couldn't buy all the spells I wanted because I actually ran out of money. I'm down to 29,000 again. So the spells are expensive. Uh, but at least up to the fourth level all my three mages have all the spells and hey we got a level out of that so he's a level 24 mage now I don't think we have comet yet. Fine, take a comet then. Okay, so that's pretty much all we can do in here. So let's save and get the hell out of here. Consider it done. Damn, that actually took I don't know, an hour or something? Quite a lot. So we should go to where should we go to now could go to the countess santilis house or we could go to the militia headquarter let's go to the militia headquarter huh? first who are you just a peasant the harlot. What's that here? Oh, that's the Countess's house. Where's the entrance? There's the entrance, apparently. Who are you? Mission Guard? Fine, we go in here then. We have to be quick before the next fireball approaches. What can it be now? Countess Santilli, I know this is difficult for you, but you have to make a positive identification. Yes, he is the one, Matteo. He is the traitor. No, the Countess must be mad with grief. There must be some mistake. You are certain, Countess. There is no mistake. I am certain. Before my beloved son Ardic disappeared, he told me he had witnessed... Matteo opening the gate. There. Surely you now see my overzealous Captain Samant that your egregious accusation have needlessly vilified my impeccable character. Why are you doing this, Countess? I am Ardic's friend. Your son and I grew up together. Captain, I strongly demand you incarcerate this heinous felon immediately. You make no demands of me, Kaiser Jeriel. I fulfill my duties as I see fit. Min, take Matteo away and escort the Countess to your quarters. Yes, please, take me away from this place. What's going on here? What is it? Well, Captain, I am I free to go now? Is this travesty of justice, this witch hunt, this, this fiasco finally at an end? You are free to go, Kaiser. Get out of my sight. I am in no mood to see your unscrupulous face right now. 
I suppose such abuse is the best approximation of an apology I can accept from an uncouth croton such as yourself, Captain Samand. What the fuck's going on here? I await what your word. What can it be now? What? Oh, you must be of the one. one you must be the ones Melissa told me about. Just what our town needs. More ball spawn. <sighs> My name is Captain Sam and I'm a very busy man right now. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long. I must see to the defense of the walls. Why did your soldiers drag that young man away? That? Oh, a most unpleasant letter. A few days ago someone opened a secret gate into the town. Saradish could have easily been overrun. We just discovered the traitor was a young man named Matthew. You don't sound convinced. There's no doubt in my mind that someone betrayed us. The enemy came through a small sewer outlet that was protected by both a locked iron gate and several powerful magical wards. There is no way to open that entrance from the outside, but Matteo is a faithful soldier not the type of man to betray Saradish. Maybe he didn't. Are there any other suspects? An alarm was raised and my soldiers arrived only a few moments after the gate was opened. We found three people in the area. In the area, Matteo, Ardix Santilli and the merchant Kaiser Jerry. When we began our investigation, I strongly suspected Kaiser. He's a greedy self-serving Weasley who would still sell his own mother if the price was right. What changed your mind? We didn't get a chance to complete our investigation. Ardick, the son of the Countess Santali, disappeared. He was our primary witness. Perhaps Ardick himself is the culprit. Did you consider this? No, not Ardick. Someone who didn't know better might think Ardick was taking revenge for Gromnir's banishment of his father. But the Count was nothing but a cruel, violent bastard. Gromnir did Ardick and the Countess a favor and Ardick bears no ill will towards the town. Still, his disappearance is pretty suspicious. No, it isn't. Ardick was taking his regular shift manning the battlements. He wouldn't be the first taken by an enemy arrow or some foul spell. Or maybe Matteo murdered him. Why do you suspect Matteo now? Our attention was focused on the vile Kaiser Jerry but had no proof. Then the Countess told us that Eric, her son, had implicated Matteo before he disappeared. How do you know the Countess is telling the truth? If you knew the Countess, you would know her word is beyond reproach, and she has nothing to gain from a lie. Matteo was Ardic's closest, closest friend. Accusing him was very traumatic for her. Still, I have to admit, this does not sit well in my gullet. I was so sure of Kaiser Jahiri was the culprit. To discover it was one of my own men, I'm shocked. So now you just sit back and wait for the executioner? Matteo will not be executioned, not while we are under siege. The defense of Saradash is my first concern, but if I had more time I would investigate further. I just wanted to find the truth. Hmm. <coughs> Perhaps I could delve deeper into this matter for you. If you wish to investigate further, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Matteo in his cell. The jailer will let you see him. I still need to ask you some other questions though. Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long and I must see to, defend to the defenses of the walls. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Gromnir. Gromnir isn't much of a soldier abandoning the city like that. And as a ruler, he's even more of a tyrant than Count Santili. The townsfolk are better off since Ilkhan locked himself in that castle. Me and my soldiers served as the Sir Saradish militia for years. We don't need Gromnir's help to defend the town. Uh, what can you tell me about Millicent? Saradish would have been better off if she had never brought all those balls spawn here. Sure, she tries to help during the siege, but it's too little, too late. The damage is already done. Do you know some way I can get into the castle to see Gromnir? The only way I know is of is straight through the front gates, but those are locked up tight. Sorry, Ballstone, you're stuck out here with the rest of us. Um, is there anywhere in town I can go to replenish my supplies and maybe get some healing? Go to the tankard tree, the bartender there can set you up with anything you need, or the temple of Joaquin if you're the religious type. That's enough. Thanks. What's up? Where did he go? What's in here? 
Healing. We don't need those books. Okay. Apparently that leads to um, the cells. It shall be. Something on your mind? Can't you see I'm busy guarding this jail? I don't have have time for your yammering. <sighs> I'd like to ask you some questions, not Melissa. You must have me confused with the Saradish Information Center. I'm not here to answer your questions. I just got to jail, okay? Do you know somewhere I can get into the castle speak to Gromnir? Mm-hmm, the same. Okay. Let's take the obvious then. The obvious one then. Captain Samad said I should speak to the prisoner Mateo. Captain Samad, why didn't you say so? I'll unlock the door for you and you can go and come and go as you please. Can he come and come and go as he pleases too? Consider it done. Who are you? Are you to further torment me? To heap more scorn upon my head? My name is Hibbert Blow Me. I think you've been framed. Praise Joaquin, someone who believes me. I cannot understand why she would falsely accuse me. She's a good woman. When I was growing up with Ardek, her son, she was like a second mother to me. I thought it was pretty obvious she was lying to Captain Salmond. The Countess did, see, did seem to be acting strangely when she spoke to Captain Salmond. At first I thought it was grief over Ardek's loss, but now I think there may be something more sinister afoot. I regret that there is nothing more I can tell you. You must speak to the Countess at her home to find the reason behind her actions. Yeah, always, always. Anything to get here? Oh, what's that? Please don't be trapped. It's not trapped. Yeah, you stupid. Move it. Anything in here? No. Okay, so now we have to go to the counters. That goes to you. To you, I said. Hey, you're somewhat hurt. Anybody else hurt? Hey, what is somewhat hurt? Okay. What is my task? Leaving would be awesome. I will do my. Okay. Yes. Who are you? The militia guard. Okay. Let's talk to that countess. Where was it? Here, I think. Very well. Who are you? Peasant. I guess that's her. Done. Please, I have nothing to say to you. Please, my lady, I have spoken with Matteo. Oh, Matteo, forgive me, I had no choice. I could not bear to lose my son. How does accusing Matteo of treason and murder help your son? I, I was forced to do this by Kaiser Jerry. He has kidnapped that boy Ardic. He said if I accused Matteo, he would return my son to me. But now he has gone back on his word. He says he will keep my son to guarantee my silence. I, I fear the worst that Kaiser has no intention of ever returning my son. What treachery! Kaiser Jerry must face the wrath of justice. No, Kaiser must not be harmed, I beg you. He's the only one who knows where my son is. 
Uh, letting Kaiser get away with this is not going to get you your son back, Countess. I... I don't know what to do. I wish Matteo to be free. I wish Kaiser to be punished. But most of all, I wish my son was safe by my side. Poor Matteo. He is alone in the world as Min was before Boo found him. Yes, Boo. You are right. As heroes, we must befriend the friendless. We must help the helpless. We must... The accused accused. Well... You get the idea. I have little to reward you with, but perhaps perhaps you could go to Kaiser's home and speak with him? Maybe somehow you convince him to release my son. Is there anything else you can tell me? I have nothing else I can tell you. Please go to Kaiser's home and speak with him. Okay. Uh, is there anything we can do here? Loot or something? Or would she call the gods? Let's see. Gotcha. No, there's only one chest here. One, two, three, four. Oh, there are two chests actually. Apparently, it's not. It's not. Trapped. Okay. Let's go to the, that Kaiser guy then. As you ask. Do we have time? Yeah, a few minutes. We still have a few minutes. Has us home here. It shall be. <coughs> Fuck it. Who is that? Minsk. He's asleep. On my honor. What do you require? How do we wake him up? Consider it done. He still doesn't wake up. I'm attacking him and he's not waking up. Now he's waking up. Yes? Full stop. And in. I guess there's that Kaiser guy. Let's say hi to him. Hmm? Interlopers in my abode? Perhaps you have mistaken this edifice for an establishment of commerce. I assure you, you are mistaken. If you vacate these premises forthwith, I shall exonerate you for the transgression of your intrusion. I have some questions for you, Kaiser. I am at a distinct disadvantage. You have the privilege of knowing my appellation, yet your own moniker remains something of an enigma. Never mind my name, I have a few questions about Matteo. A soaring circumstance to be true. Who could have conjectured that Matteo was a traitor? Save it, Kaiser. Countess Santilli told me you kidnapped Ardic. So, the Countess has violated her covenant of discretion. Before you vault to spurious conclusion, however, I suggest to hear my exegesis of the extenuating circumstances, child of ball, so you know who I am. Ah, your visage registers surprise. Did you presume I did not know both your identity and ancestry long before you stumbled into my dwelling? I present you with an offer ball spawn. I admit my culpability in Ardic's abduction, yet this does not implicate me in the betrayal of Saradush. Ardic did entreat, indeed, see me near the gates, but I was not the guilty party. I'll give you the benefit of it, I doubt. Go on. The real traitor is a wizard named Arard. He poses as a stalwart defender of Saradash, yet in truth he is a sedious prevaricator. The mind of that mage is convoluted beyond comprehension. If this is true, why didn't you just tell Captain Samet? No one would believe my account, not without substantial proof. Captain Samet is driven by a perverse dis by a prefer by a perverse desire to ruin me, and he was willing to convict me based on Ardic's 
speculative testimony. I was compelled to secure my own liberty so that I could pursue my investigations against the sorcerer and uncover the evidence that will implicate the renegade mage. But why did you frame it to you? I could not let Arand know anyone suspects his involvement or the wizard would destroy the evidence I needed I needed to procure, and the only other people in the vicinity were Ardig and Matteo. I had to kidnap Arvik, then use him to coerce his mother to point the finger of blame at Matteo. Only in this way I could keep myself from prison without alerting Arand of my intent to expose him. Farfetch tale. How do I know you are telling the truth? Ah, the eternal curse of the successful merchant. People see my affluence and are instantly predisposed to doubt me. I have no proof to offer at this time, but I do hold one card yet. If any harm befalls me, I guarantee Ardic will never be found alive. If you desire to aid the Countess, you will help me exonerate myself. Oh, really? I assume you want me to find evidence implicating Arad? Alas, such an elementary resolution is not possible. While Arad lives, he is able to obfuscate investigation into his own actions. Only his demise will allow me to clear my own name. Oh, so you want me to kill the wizard Arad? Regrettably, yes, I could not attempt such an endeavor myself, but you might prevail where I would falter. If not for me, consider how this will benefit Ardic, the Countess and even Saradish itself. Do we now have a full understanding of the situation? May I rely on your absolute cooperation in this matter? What's to stop me from telling Captain Samand what I know? Without some proof no one would believe your tale, and it would be extremely detrimental to the health of Ardic. So what's to stop me just from killing you now? You might make the attempt, but my death would not bring gain to anyone involved. I suggest you save your violent impulses for other individuals. Arad comes readily to mind. Boo does not trust this Kaiser here, which I blow me. See how his nose twitches? Something smells about this, and it's not stinky clouds from Boo's furry backside. Return only once your task is done. Until then, we have nothing further to discuss. Hmm. Okay. So, we will take a break and deal with the whole situation in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.